Hey there, Fatty from Pack a Punch Traders here. Uh, just want to make a real quick video lesson on GMVD. Uh, going over it, coulda, shoulda, woulda traded this way better. Failed to recognize early in the morning. I did have overnight position. Um, entry was four two on the breakout of yesterday, exactly at the at that breakout price. Um, so. I instantly sold the 465, yeah, 465, um, into the spike here. Could have waited, it was holding trend, and I totally forgot that 463 was all time highs. So, as long as this was holding trend, this was gonna threaten a move, considering right from the get go it had a solid perk up. Um, but the other mistake that I made, that I think was a bigger mistake, because this was a solid dub, I'll take it. Failed to capture this, <clears throat> because I was at the gym, and if I was, and if I recognized this action here, I probably wouldn't have gone to the gym. I would have maybe waited a half an hour or something. <clears throat> so, what I wanted to go over was recognizing the accumulation going on I know on only on the intraday daily chart looking like it's kinda toward the end here volume seems to be maxing out I don't know how much I guess more I could do with this sustain this volume so we'll see what happens not concerned with that right now but in the morning all this selling that you get going on all this choppiness it it gets bought into so it ends up coming back and you'll recognize that with longer wicks on the bottom here all these wicks here pretty size like this one they're all pretty long so should have recognized that as it was slowly increasing in volume making higher lows holding above VWAP here great indicator that it's getting bought up There's still an accumulation phase and then you get the run up and then here you get some distribution but still kinda of holding up not too bad we'll see what this does tomorrow but you still get the fade or the backside here yeah on the one minute it looks horrible so, yeah, I just want to go over that real quick to recognize that when you see those longer wicks and keeps holding up, volume keeps coming in, you think low float, yep, low float, doing decent volume, you got to see that as a potential for short squeeze. All, all the shorts are, are getting bought up and the expectation is getting broken. And here you get this beautiful trend. Don't really see it on the five minute as much. Um, on the fifteen minute, pretty clear though. You get these wicks here, so they dip, keeps coming back. Pretty choppy, but this fifteen minute gives you the general picture of what's going on in that time. And yeah, I'm just gonna be broken record here soon. So my mistake for not recognizing that. Because it's a clear, easy buy in the fives, in the high fours, the low fives. And wherever you buy there, you're making a dollar. So, whatever. We'll get another one of these plays, another parabolic tomorrow, the day after. We'll see what happens. But yeah, just wanted to go over that little lesson. Hope it's beneficial on anyone. And we'll wrap up. I'll make another video lesson tomorrow morning going over uh, potential plays open my top watches as of now I'm really liking pick oh. low flow heavily shorted holding up volumes coming back a bit above VWAP I think it can get to 10 um, 
We got BBIG for a multi day breakout. Let's keep holding up. This fails to continue down. You know, it's the first red day, so that's kind of a waiting game. And then Relay, and that's also another waiting game. But I'll get into depth of those later on, and some more tickers. But yeah, GMVD. Beautiful breakout. Predictable. Easy to recognize. Even easier. Um, in hindsight, obviously. But, yeah. Beautiful trend. Volume. All the stuff I was saying. So, that's that.